Hi everyone, and welcome to the this third unit of our transmission line discussions. So this unit is kind of like the the first of the entree chapters where you learn like a really key skill of of and and really get to see how how these transient effects take place and the whole process of when you reach a steady state solution. So what you what we're going to do here is we're just going to look at a, a simple transmission line setup where you have a generator or a voltage source and and it just turns on. You have a DC signal. It travels down. There's a load on the other end. Uh, so the most basic transmission line setup you have. And we want you to be able to analyze this. We're going to analyze this one step at a time. Look at the signal. Go down the line. Bounce back. And uh, the and then ultimately be able to identify what the voltage is at any point on the transmission line at any point in time. So we're also going to introduce a bounce diagram, which is um, a little bit like a space-time diagram. Uh, it's, it would be a space-time uh, theory of relativity-ish uh, plot for uh, aliens that live in one dimension. Uh, so if you were to plot out a drawing like that, that's just one way that you can, again, be able to identify the voltage at any point in the transmission line at any time. And ultimately what you want is uh, find the key parameters that describe the transmission line, the reflection coefficients um, using the Thevenin equivalent to, again, identify the voltages. And through that, you'll be able to describe how in, when you're worried about these transient effects, uh, what the voltage looks like and how it slowly, slowly, slowly and ultimately converges to uh, what you would get if you if you used uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law and forgot everything about this class and just use your basic uh, circuit EE101 circuit solving skills. So uh, let's let's start taking a look and and see how these how these transient effects take place. <laughs> 